Hey guys, Patrick here, and I wanted to show you how I set up this planted fish tank. So I was able to get this fish tank used. It's a 46 gallon bow front. I was able to get off of another person on a forum. If you're looking for used tanks, check out Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, other fish forums. I went and decided to paint this tank. I was gonna go with a paper, but I couldn't find any, um, like a cardboard or something like that. So I just decided to do a plain blue background. Remember your, your tank is a living work of art. And so you want some type of background that's gonna highlight your, your focus, which should be your fish, uh, unless you're doing some planted tank and your aquascape is your focus. So I decided to go with blue cause I thought it would go better with the brown trim. And I'll put on two layers and you can do as many layers as you want. Um, and again, all this stuff will work if you're setting up a new tank or anything like that. But I put on two layers. Now for the substrate, I'm going to do just a basic planted tank. So I'm going to need some kitty litter, topsoil, and then I've got the buckets of the filters and some of the food. So I lay down the kitty litter. I'm going to put somewhere between like a five and six inch substrate. I want a deeper substrate. So I go to put the kitty litter and then I'm going to put the topsoil and try to get as much of the little wood chunks out as I can in that. And I'm going to top it off with Eco Complete. I wanted a deeper bed because I wanted some anaerobic nitrifying bacteria. And I've read different things and you can look, do your own research, but I decided to go ahead and do a deeper substrate on this also. You, if you're going to do a planted tank then and you're going to have root feeding plants, the nutrients in the tank are not limitless. It depends on how much soil you have. So I wanted to put a lot so I wouldn't have to change this out for a while. And doing it the Wallstad type of method, uh, it is cheaper just getting that regular kitty litter, no scent or anything, just some regular topsoil. Here I put in the driftwood and then I have uh, a bunch of my clippings from live plants that I have from my fish room and I'm putting those in with the ones that grow taller in the back and then the foreground plants are ones that will stay smaller and I've also got some micro sword java moss all throughout there And now it's time to go ahead and fill it with water. I fill in the bucket first because I don't want to disturb the plants that I just aquascaped on here. I have water coming in and I want it splashing in. You want water splashing in because there are various gases in your, your water. And so if you have it splashing in, it'll degas and you won't have any of those micro bubbles that you'll see a lot of times during a water change and on new fish tanks. Sometimes those micro bubbles can be harmful to aquatic life as well. And I didn't want to deal with that. So I just had it splashing in. Uh, I got a four foot shop LED light and that's just temporary uh, until I put some other lights on there. And then I have the fish in a bag. I'm just getting stuff off the top. It's still, it's kind of cloudy, but this is just day one. It'll clear up after I get the Filters going, I've got two filters on this tank, two hang on back filters. Uh, also, I just had a temporary plug here, but I went and I got a surge protected power strip with a timer. That's it right there. I wanted to go ahead and have the lights on the timer for about eight hours a day. You also want a surge protector and make sure you have drip loops. So there it is installed. Better than the six gang plugs that I had and here it is the day after. It's still a little bit cloudy but it's a whole lot better. It's not chocolate milk anymore like it was the day before. And you can see the various plants that I have set up again on the substrate. It's regular kitty litter and then topsoil and then capped off with Eco Complete. but you can do even pea gravel or something depending on how you want. These are the Starburst or Blue Star N-Class Natural Class Endlers that I have in there. I wanted to keep the stock light and let them breed inside of this. I also have a calico male Bristlenose Pocosimus and then I have two albino females and the albino females they were very plump full of eggs so I put them in here it looks like she's ready to try to get in that cave with him um, and even though he's not really having it at the time that I filmed this the very next day I found eggs inside of his cave. So 
The tank was set up for about two days and they are already breeding in there. Um, oh, keep in mind this the eco complete that I put on there. It was uh, I put I, some from an established tank already. I wanted to go ahead and seed my tank with beneficial bacteria that I already had to jump start the nitrogen cycle. So I was able to do that. And there's more shot of the endlers. But with that jump starting of the nitrogen cycle, there's no chance for a new tank syndrome on this tank because of I, me taking some of the substrate from an established tank. That's the cool thing about these N-class endlers, that blue and that orange and black. So here's about a week later, you see I replaced the four foot LED shop light with just some clamp lights that I have some LED bulbs in. Now these bulbs were 5,000 Kelvin. So I wanted to switch those out and I also wanted to add a bit more light, but the tank is looking good. Here you see it, um, even from that last shot to this shot, you see the plants have grown. And in there I've got, right now there's three LED shop lights, but they're that 5,000 Kelvin. Now again, this is for a personal preference. It's not really affecting the plant growth. But I wanted a 6,500 Kelvin light spectrum so I have them on there and, and this is what the tank looks like about a week later. And I think it just looks stunning. I did put some sponges over the intakes of the filters because I don't want any shrimp that I have in there or any fry to get sucked up into the overflow. And I've got to tame some of that moss that keeps coming off that log. You can use cotton thread to tie it down. I just uh, uh, I'm just leaving it for now, and I'll put it in there. Got some Subwasatang, Microsword, Bacopa, and some various other plants that'll do well in a low-tech planted tank. You can look online and purchase a lot of these plants. You can get, even get them off eBay. Uh, local hobbyists will also have them. Also in here are Ember Tetras. I've also got orange neocardinia shrimp which are fascinating and I want them to be breeding here which is another reason why I have smaller fish and I've got a sponge over the intakes of the filters so that I can have a nice population of those and there you have it this is uh, how I sent up my planted aquarium if you guys have any questions do leave a comment hope you enjoyed my fish tank.